Hey guys, what's up? Alexander uh, Curry here, and uh, sure as I'm not wearing my glasses after I made this really small. But uh, today we are going to do part one of this tutorial request I got. Uh, it's actually a, a very long tutorial, and I just got part one done. It involves a lot of expression gates, which I'll be including on the website, on the forums, link in the sidebar. Go check that out if you want the expression gate. If not, then stop watching the tutorial now because you're not going to be able to understand it. Well, you might be able to read the expression gate. I don't know. But uh, the only thing I've done so far is I've gotten a door and I've hooked up two winches to it. Um, this, this will make it so the door will slide upward. And uh, let's see. Let's go and get started. See, here are my two winch. I mean, my hydraulics. Sorry, my hydraulics. I'm not using winches for this. Um, if we go over to wire. Um, I made, I'm going to go ahead and spawn the two expression gates. The first one's called timer off. I'm going to put that one down here and go back to my browse expressions and let's see. Hydraulic door open. Put that one right up here. All right. And also, you know, expression gates might be in the sidebar. If not, I'll provide a direct link to them to the forums. So you can check that out there. Uh, let's see, I'm going to wire this up real quick. Length goes to, it just goes there directly actually. And this length goes here directly too. Okay. And for this, I could not get the keypad because I can't find it for the life of me. I don't know, it's really weird. I used to have it, but then something went wrong. I don't have it anymore. But uh, we're, we're going to use a data port. Or, no, we're going to use data plug. Yeah, I'm using data plug. Just kind of spawn that up there and then uh, right click and you will spawn the other half of it. Now, I'm going to spawn a small screen so we can understand what's happening here. Uh, just get that little bad boy. Change it to pass. Now, if you get the, if you have the keypad, you can just uh, kind of modify it to work with the keypad. If not, then you can use data plug. I think it looks really cool actually. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wire this up to that. All right. Now you see if we plug this in, the value turns to 1. So we'll worry about that here in a few minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and get everything else that we need real quick. Uh, spawn a timer, which you can get in gate time timer. Uh, place that just kind of right below, I mean right, right, right above your timer off expression gate. And we want to go to uh, arithmetic and get a floor round down gate. Put that above your timer. Now we're going to want another weight. Do I want to do that now? What else do I need? I feel like I'm missing some important things, but figure it out later, I guess. Uh, you're going to want another small screen. And just kind of place that right there. Let me just change that time. Okay, let's go and wire some things up real quick. I'm going to your wire tool, and let's wire up the A value of the screen to uh, your floor round down gate. And then we're going to wire the A value of the floor round down gate to your timer. Okay, now let's do the timer. This takes a little bit of time. Um, take, well, let's see. Let me spawn a very, very small piece of metal. That's not very small. Huh. How small is that? Okay, never mind. Um, this wiring is going to be a little messy, but uh, I don't know why I keep doing that. But uh, you should be able to figure it out. Just follow me exactly right now. Okay, we're going to take the timer off of the expression timer off, and we're going to put that to our floor round down. Okay. Now, we're going to... That's what I forgot. I forgot a button. All right. It's going to button real quick. I'm just going to call it button charge because that's what's right there. Make sure toggle is on. Okay. Back to our intense wiring moment. Wire on to the button. Okay. Now we're going to go up to our timer. Press run on the timer. And output run. Now right click on the timer so you'll see reset and do reset output reset okay that should finish that up now 
take out your data plug could take a little bit of force and uh, wire password or pass up to data socket now right click on that and do time down to floor round down okay now we're going to plug in our data plug and we are going to press this and let this run through once real quick all right once it sets back to zero I'll unfreeze the door because if not the door might go psychotic again this door is very touchy okay let's give it a second okay now what should happen is when I undo this and that resets again but I feel like I'm forgetting something because it's not resetting okay now everything's back to normal let me go ahead and turn this off real quick oh good I made it okay now this is where everything will be stationary this is how everything's set up now you can wire this however you want you put it wherever you want I'm just doing out here for light sake okay so you walk up with your data plug you plug that in and then you go down here press that on two three four and on four seconds it opens now you quickly grab the data plug and run through I don't know why I'm not running all oh, because the data plug was stopping me that's nice okay let me try to show that again really fast okay turn this on Wait till it hits four seconds and that goes up. Okay. Grab your data plug and crouch and go. Yes. And the door closes behind you and it will not go back up. Now, in part two, I'm going to show you how to get that timer so the timer does not keep running. Uh, the timer will turn off. And we are going to. Uh, oh, what else is on that list? There's some other things on that list I have to do, but, uh, oh yeah, you have to be able to open it from this side and close it from this side too, which I don't think you need to be able to close it from this side, but uh, being able to open it from this side, I don't have time in this tutorial. So uh, thanks for watching, and part two should be up in, I have no idea how long, whenever I get time. So uh, this is Xanthicory, signing out, peace.